You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. What is going on everyone? Welcome along to episode 5 of our Ajax save on FIFA 19. If you're yet to go out and check the other episodes then be sure to have a look at those ones first before watching this video as you will receive spoilers. We have played three games in between the last episode um, and I've got to say they've been quite entertaining so let's not beat around the bush let me show you how it's got on. First of all we had this cup game and what an entertaining fixture it was uh, at least for the neutral part. I was pretty annoyed as you can imagine uh, looking at that. We went 3-0 up and made 10 changes because as you can see only got a day's rest uh, in between the uh, the final game and this one. So uh, yeah made about 10 changes apart from the goalkeeper really uh, and so it, all, it was all going well. 3-0 up and then all of a sudden last 20 minutes they pull three goals back. We absolutely capitulate uh, and it sends it through to extra time and I thought well, I'm not going to make any changes because all the other players are knackered, so I've just got to go with these players. So everyone was literally had an empty stamina bar, uh, and we were just improvising, really. Uh, and then somehow, uh, Labiad pops up uh, close to the uh, close to half time and extra time, and we get the win, and we get through to the uh, round of 16 in the cup. But um, you know, we make it hard for ourselves. But thankfully, thankfully. We get through, uh, and then that took us on to the next game against Willem, and um, the entertainment just kept coming. As you, as you see here, six-one, we won, but it doesn't tell the whole story. We actually go one-nil down uh, early on, and for the first, you know, 15 minutes, we were poor. We were very, very poor, and we we couldn't string much passes together. We couldn't get, get an attack going, and then all of a sudden. Um, we just spring into life, spring into life. Zaya getting on the score sheet, Boadu, of course, Groeneveld. Uh, and then I made a few substitutions, and those substitutions went mad. Tadic scored a, an unreal free kick. Uh, and then Daly Blind, I brought him on at centre attacking mid because we literally had no other options, and Zayek and uh, Van der Beek were just absolutely knackered. So I just put him there, uh, and he goes and scores two. <laughs> So, um, fair enough to me. Maybe we found his new position, but I wouldn't I wouldn't hold my breath just yet. But yeah, so he played really well, and that was a, a very good result. And then we went into the Excelsior game, who um, actually had the worst defensive record in the league. They've conceded the most goals. So, obviously, I was going into this game thinking, you know, we really need to make a statement today uh, after the last one, considering, you know, we won 6-1. Um, but it was only 1-0 in the end. But thankfully, you know, it was still a win. Win's a win, you know. And... Um, we completely dominated, just couldn't couldn't take a lot of chances. But thankfully, oh, excuse me there, David Neres uh, pops up out of nowhere and um, continues his run of good form. And I have to say, I actually got a, a comment asking about him uh, recently, about whether or not he should be playing and stuff. Definitely, I've he's been the most exciting player to play with so far. Really, really fun. So I would highly suggest anyone who's, who's in career mode, try and sign him. Or if you sign out it's career mode, you know, um, give him a go because he's really fun to play with and uh, he's, a, he's a game changer at the moment. It's got to be said, he's a game changer. Now today we've got Breda, so um, I'm unsure yet as to whether it's going to be Breda and then um, a Den Haag double header. We'll see how long this episode plays out, but um, yeah, for now it's Breda anyway. And uh, if I show you the, the lineup here, I feel like just going with same again really we've been rotating on the whole just to keep things fresh but at the end of the day we started to put together a, a run of form and i think we should really keep it going if the players are fresh there's no need to change it so yeah that's it's pretty much the, the same lineup that we've seen for a while one thing i do want to point your attention to though is i got a comment from uh, ian line uh, and i appreciate the uh, the advice Ian. by the way um he was when I was talking about how tired my players were getting, he said the reason that that might be is because you've got pretty much all uh, your players set to aggressive interceptions. Uh, and he was right, yeah, I did. So what I've done for this game is I've changed pretty much all of them to uh, normal interceptions apart from the two centre-backs who uh, 
you know, don't seem to have obviously stamina problem. They don't cover nearly as much ground. Uh, and we're going to see if that makes a difference. Of course, the reason why I go normal and not conservative is because we don't want to, we don't want it to take away from our tactic. Our tactic is very much about pressing, at least after possession loss, playing on the front foot. And if you're going conservative, you might, you know, sort of hinder that. So I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to play around a little bit. Um, I'd never really thought of that, to be fair, the aggressive interceptions causing that problem. So we'll see how it goes. And, you know, thanks a lot for any suggestions. And if anyone else has suggestions like that, then keep them coming in. You know, keep them coming in. I really appreciate the uh, the advice. You know, I don't know everything as much as I like to think I do um, on FIFA, at least. Uh, I don't. So, you know, any any advice like that, keep it coming in and uh, we'll see if, it, uh, see if it holds sway. Um, but, yeah, it's time to uh, press into the... The bread a match now, I won't take any more of your time, so let's get into it. Kickoff is underway then, hoping, hoping for uh, a dominant and expectant performance today. Oh, it's dropped straight to Gurneveld, lays it off to Van Der Beek, can he get it back into the area he can? To Boadu, oh, it's a comfortable save from the goalkeeper in the end. Oh, he's found that run of Zayek. Space has opened up for him. Forces a good save from the keeper. And it's a throw-in. It's unlucky. Good effort. Oh, it's a close effort. Giving him too much space on the edge of the area. People need to close down more. Right, so that's half-time. Not too much to shout about there, to be honest. Not going to lie, we've had a couple of opportunities from, from a distance, but we can't seem to work an opening. Uh, I mean, they're playing five at the back, which doesn't help our cause, really. But we need to try and, you know, sort of penetrate the defence a bit more with running in behind. See what we can do. Van der Beek now, what would he do with the ball? He's looking for options. Sees Neres, flicks it on. Zayek, that's a nice finish. And finally, that opening comes... Hakim Zayek, who has looked dangerous all game. He's had a couple of opportunities that have come close. Finally, he finds the breakthrough. And that's just the sort of thing we're looking for from our key men. As the travelling contingent are absolutely loving it. Van der Beek, he's Neres. And he's got Zayek running in just behind him. Bit of space. They leave him open because they're backing off way too much. A lot of conservative teams do that and, you know, sort of don't pay attention to the consequences of that and uh, you see them there Hakim Zayek with his only second goal of the season of course he was injured but that's uh, two in three games now he's looking good so far Has opened the scoring. One -nil here. and the attack breaks down but wait a minute we've got Groeneveld in space there and he's found him as well looks to chip it in oh, Groeneveld poor again I think we're going to take Groeneveld off you know He's had a really bad game. He's lost the ball countless times. And we're actually going to bring on Hassani Bande. See what he can do. De Jong to whip it in. It's Werber there on the end of it. And it's close. Oh, he's got that run of Neres. Goes on to his left. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Takes a deflection. But Neres in the end is in the right place. Cuts inside. They can't quite deal with it. And as a result, 2-0 up. It's more than what we deserved. We've been completely dominant in this game. And David Neres, once again, is having a tremendous game. Probably being our best player on the pitch. It does take a wicked deflection, to be fair. Sends a keeper the wrong way. Is he going on target? Maybe. Can't really tell from that angle. Uh, but he's created the goal and, and that's what matters really. Well, I mean, we've played well over stoppage time now. And they're bound to score because of it. I mean, the stoppage time rules. Dear me. But thankfully, that's it though. A uh, comfortable 2-0 win in the end. Um, and as you can see here, absolutely dominant really. They give the man the match to Donny van der Beek. He played very well. I would give it to Neres personally. I think he was he was really the difference, to be fair. But nevertheless, everyone everyone played their part, apart from Groeneveld, who had a disappointing game. 
of course. Um, but it's a good win. And uh, on to the next one. I think we are actually going to do a double header. Wasn't loads to uh, to show in that game really. So uh, yeah, why not? Let's let's make it uh, a second. And by the way, just to put your attention to here, constant loan offers for Nissan Christensen. I mean, it is just it's ridiculous. Off loads of quite frankly mad teams to be fair. Monaco, Marseille, played Bilbao, Munich, and Gladbach, Burnley, West Ham, Leipzig. It's pretty pretty insane. We're rejecting them all because we don't really have the option. We got Veltman. But um, he's probably going, to be fair. He's probably uh, off. In fact, I might have accepted an offer for him, to be fair, to go in January. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just going to sort out the training here. I'm going to uh, whiz through this, and then I'll be back with you guys uh, in the next game. Right, so welcome back, guys. We are on the day of the Den Haag game. And um, first of all, I'll quickly show the team. Same team. No changes. Uh, we've, we've, you know... Had a week's rest in between. We got a week's rest again, pretty much. So um, I don't see the the reason to change it. Really, it's going well. Let's keep the keep the momentum going for now. Um, by the way, I do want to show the league table because obviously I forgot to do that originally. So this is what it look, it's looking like at the moment. We have a game in hand over Vitesse uh, and Utrecht. So if we win, we go over both of them. So with a win, we can go minimum second. Um, and then depending on the final game, they have PSV, um, we could go first. So we'll see. Obviously, we've got to win first, and usually we bottle it at these um, sort of stages. But, you know, we're looking for something something different today. We need a statement, uh, and this is the perfect opportunity. As you can see, a couple of players have uh, gone up in ratings. Good to see the likes of, uh, well, the, the spine of the... Uh, the, the youngsters really, the, the three that I'm really uh, really big on, Van der Beek, De Jong and De Litt, uh all go up a rating, so uh, yeah, that's good to see, indeed, should probably mention um, Frankie De Jong as well, guys moved to uh, Barcelona, so fair play to him, um, big, big move, I think it was like 65 million or something, so yeah, congratulations to him, I'm disappointed to see that though, I've got to say, it would be nice to see these players sort of stay at Ajax and see if they can do anything. It's a young squad with a lot of potential and if they all stayed, you know, why wouldn't they go and be successful? You know, so I think that's slightly disappointing in that sense, but nevertheless, you know, massive club Barcelona, fair play uh, to him. We'll see what happens in our career mode. Maybe he'll we'll get an offer like that and we'll have to sell him. But for now, he is our player and uh, he's doing very well. So, with that in mind, let's move on to the uh, Den Haag game. So, kick off yet again back at the Johan Cruyff Arena. The question is, can we make our statement today uh, for the title challenge? Oh, he's got that running behind of Groeneveld. That's what we're looking for. And he's going to go for the early cross to Neres. Oh, it's a good save in the end. Does well, Neres, to keep that down and get the placement on it. That's unlucky. What a break attack that is, though. Spied the space either side. Good opportunity and we win a corner from it. Sorry, see Groeneveld peeled away from his man. It's a good finish and there it is. So far, so good for Arnaud than Juma Groeneveld. His performance today has been much, much more improved compared to the, uh, the last game. Oh yeah, look at that by the way guys. We've got to uh, point that out to you. They always do turn around and do... Uh, I suppose they call it the Poznan, don't they? Um, I guess that's a, an Ajax fan thing. It's uh, that's quite a nice touch. Really cool to see that. They, you don't always, they don't always show it after every goal, but that time, of course, they did. It's uh, it's something something different. So you know why not? Um, but yeah, back onto the goal. A nice finish. Peels away from his man, Arnaud Danjuna Groeneveld, and we're back in the lead. Looking for Neres. Oh, and finds him. What a ball that is. Neres does his typical cut onto his left foot. And he'll go for goal here. Oh, he's hit the bar. Boadu on the rebound. The bar again. <laughs> wow. How have we not come away with uh, a second goal there? Immediately after uh, the game resumes, we win the ball back. Lovely build up play. Can't believe we haven't scored.
Oh, and Anna saves. And we managed to clear. It's a good save in the end. It's straight at him, but he's got the reflexes to get down. Spotted Neres in space there. Does his typical cut onto his left foot. Whips it in. Forces a good save from the keeper. Back again. Oh, fumbling about here. Mess of what is the keeper doing? Oh, no. I've just taken the goal out. He's going to get a card for this. It's a booking. <laughs> Mess up, though. Not sure what was going on there. But they're lucky to get away with that. Needs to jump for that. And Arna saves in the end. Nerez has made that run. And he could be through on goal if he does it well. It's a brilliant touch. Cuts onto his left. Goes for goal. And what a finish. David Nerez yet again. And as Martin Tyler says, yes, you are correct, Martin. So much attacking confidence. What a ball that is. But look at this for a touch the way he brings it down. And um, again, cutting onto his left. He's left footed. I mean, his weak foot's like four star anyway. So it doesn't make too much of a difference. But it's so... It's so lethal. It reminds me a bit of Suso for AC Milan. Um, or perhaps I am Robin for, uh, for Bayern Munich, of course. They cut it onto the left, but they can just do it at a, at a time where the defender doesn't read them in the right moment. And as a result, they, get, they make that space for themselves. And then he's just got the quality uh, to produce those sort of finishes. Really uh, quality stuff. And it is 2-0. You know what? Let's make some substitutions. Try and keep it as fresh as possible. Um, you know what? We'll bring Bande on for Boadu. Um, let's have a look what else we got. Van der Beek can come off. We will bring on a Daily Blind. And hmm, we'll stick with that for now. Oh, it's a header and then back into it again. That's a problem that's been arising all season. We can't deal with the crosses. And it's out of nothing. It's their first opportunity that I, could, that I can think of, to be honest. It's Matthias De Ligt out on the right for some reason. And as a result, Mats Rari gets dragged into the middle. And it doesn't work at all. Just a complete mismatch. And they're back into it out of nothing. We've allowed them to get like this. That's very silly mistakes. Spotted that run of Neres running in behind yet again. And David Neres can finish it right now. He'll go for goal this time. It sneaks in. Goalkeeper makes a mistake. It's a howler from the Den Haag goalie. And as a result, we have finished it there. And then we've had a panic spell for the last 10 minutes or so, really. But we deal with it. And David Neres is proven that he can do it on his right foot as well, if you want to. Called it that. I'm not sure we'll even get the goal. He should really because it's going on target. But the goalkeeper at his near post, there's no room for that ball to squeeze in, and somehow he has allowed it just to trickle in. Oh, it's bounced off the post as well. What a horrible moment that is for him. But we don't care. 3 1, and in stoppage time, it is game set and match. But I'm worried about that Zayek injury. He's still pulling up now and feeling his muscle. As the referee blows the full time, we need to check on that. I think he might be out for a couple of weeks minimum here. And uh, that that's not great news. Um, but again, by the stats, you can see a really dominant performance for us. Hakim Zayi gets man of the match. And we'll wait to see what the uh, final PSV score is as well that's taking place later on today. Let's have a look here, see if we get an update on this injury. Three weeks, pulled quadricep muscles, so... That's disappointing as we get an offer off for, for uh, Nissan Christensen. That's disappointing. Three weeks again, he was injured before and he was playing so, so well now. And uh, it means he'll miss one, two, three. He'll miss minimum three games. He might be back for the Utrecht game, but it's going to be touch and go. Uh, and if he does, that'll be a big, big blow. Uh, because obviously that is a massive, massive game. 
But in between that, we've got three games and he's going to miss them. So that's really disappointing. And now it's down to someone else uh, to step up. He's been playing so well in that position since he returned from injury. And obviously, it's going to fall down to the likes of Dusan Tadic and Labiad um, and Daily Blind as well. So, um, yeah, that's a, it's a shame we've had to end on that note, really. But nevertheless, we've got to win. And if we have a look at the table... Uh, we are second, so it's looking, you know, it's much more healthier reading come the end. PSV um, actually lost again. I uh, know they drew, sorry, to Feyenoord, and, and as a result, look, they're seven points off the uh, European places already, uh, and that's only Europa League as well, I believe. So, yeah, they're they're having a really disappointing season, having a bad time of it indeed. But for us, we're um, we're doing well so far. We're back into uh, back in the title race, one point off Utrecht, and we've got to play them. And that's what it'll be next episode, guys. Uh, it will be the Utrecht game, uh, and we'll also begin transfer season as well. So big things to look forward to, and I hope you are all going to join me for that. But for now, it is time to round the episode off there. So if you've enjoyed it, do leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Make sure to come back for the next episode as well that will be episode six and on that note i'm bron 18 and i'll see you soon Come on.